hey guys it's miss chasing see you and welcome back to my channel so as you already know based on the thumbnail we are going to talk about getting those influencer box boxes i've had about 15 to 20 boxes myself i've been on influencer for about probably a year so we're just going to get straight to this video so if this is your first time here thank you for clicking on the video hopefully something i say or do will convince you to subscribe and become a part of the fam because you already know what you want to say go ahead and subscribe i'll give you time now and if you already been rocking with me for a minute i thank you and i appreciate you and thank you for your support so let's just get straight into this video so some of y'all might want to know what is influencer i don't know what is it influencer is an app it basically connects um, people with the brands like there's some brands that want to give they give you samples in order not in order in exchange for your honest review so basically you get free stuff to post your honest review sometimes you might have to post on um, TikTok or Facebook or Instagram it just depends on what the campaign is at that time so let's get into the details on how to get these boxes that's what y'all here for, right? Right? So let's get to it. So when you first get onto Influencer, you want to make sure you set up your profile. You want to be as detailed and as descriptive as possible. Like every little thing that you can fill in, you want to fill it in. On your profile, they're going to ask you your eye color, skin color, your um, hair color, your body type. They're going to ask you all those detailed questions. But since you only have to, or you only have to, fill that out one time so just get it done and complete it as much as possible because that and be as honest as possible so you can get things that you really want right once you set up your profile you want to check your email because that's how they send you surveys and when they send you the survey you they say that you have until such and such date to to opt in to this survey to do this survey basically so you do the survey you want to answer as honest as possible because like I said, you want to get stuff that you would use or you would like to try. So just be honest when you answer the questions. And they won't count it against you if you opt out. Like they send me a lot of makeup stuff. And I usually opt out because I just don't wear it. I tried to go and update my profile saying that I really don't wear makeup. I might do like lip gloss or something. But other than that, I just, I'm not a makeup person. <laughs> Maybe in the future, but not today. Then, um, like I said, you want to complete your entire profile. Then after you complete your profile, you want to connect your social media. Like I have my Instagram and I just recently connected my Facebook. The reason you want to do this is because your in impact score, like the higher, the, I don't think that the higher the number, the more likely you, you are to get a box box. I just think more is based more on your activity on the app and whatever apps you have connected. Like for me, I'm active on all apps. That I have connected to my influencer so and I'm also active on influencer so to me that's what I think I'm not sure but that's what works for me so give it a try you have nothing to lose and I see a lot of people on influencer that does follow for a follow like follow for a follow it doesn't work on any platform all it does is hurts your engagement so instead of doing a follow for follow, do like something like like for like or something like that where you can engage. The whole trick is your engagement. So the more you engage with other people or other accounts, the better. So follow for follow. Follow people that you know you're actually going to engage with. Like if you got somebody over here that's like doing cars and you have no interest in cars and you know you're not going to engage with them, then you might not want to follow them. So do not do follow for follow. In my opinion, I don't think it works. <laughs> I don't think it helps anything. Like a lot of people follow for follow to get your scores up. But I think it's more your activity on the app. Because when I first started the app, I had like 200. My, my impact score was like 200. And I got my box box within a month, my first one. And so when, once you set up your profile, you want to like go around the house and review things just everyday things that you buy you can review like i one day i was sitting in the car riding line i was like i need to review something on influencer so i had my lip gloss my vaseline um lip therapy lip gloss or whatever and i took a picture of it and i reviewed it 
So you can just review things that's around the house or just anything and you just leave your honest review. And I think my opinion, you want to have clear, crisp pictures if possible. And you want to kind of like make the pictures look nice and fun. But if you present nice, clear, crisp pictures, and sometimes when you post on Instagram, you have to tag whoever give you the product. So if you have a nice, clear, crisp picture, it could open up more doors and you can work directly with the company. You never know. So you want to make sure your pictures and your reviews look nice and make sure you, like I say, make sure you're honest on your reviews. And if you think that there's something that you're not going to use, opt out of it. Like, like I said, makeup, I get a lot of, um, can't, not a lot of surveys for makeup and I usually opt out because I really don't wear it unless I know it's like lip gloss or something like that. Then once you, um, set up your profile, you're going to have campaigns. They're going to ask you questions like, do you have pets or do you have, um, what kind of hair you have and what kind of, like they're going to, you're going to have a campaign. If I can, if I remember, I'll post it right here, like what it looks like. I'll post a, I'll do a screen record and post it right here and I'll show you the campaigns. And then like um, your campaigns, that's also where your Vox Box activity is going to be. So whenever you get a Vox Box, you'll have certain activities to complete. Try to complete every activity and then you'll have bonus activities. You Lately, I've been getting like bonus activities for like um, if I post on TikTok. I'm really not active on TikTok, so I never do those. And it's a bonus, so I don't think it'll count against you. It hasn't account counted against me yet. So make sure you check your campaigns. Answer your question. I don't, I personally don't answer all of, like, I don't do all of my campaign questions that may not be what it's called, but whatever it is. I don't do all of them. Like, every now and then when I get bored, I'll go and I'll answer some questions and I'll do a review. Usually the campaign questions will lead you to a review of a certain product. So you can just do the review and go on to the next one. Then every day you want to interact with other influencers, like go and like your, um, like a fellow influencer post. And, um, usually I, if I don't have anything to share that day, I would do like a survey, a yes or no survey, or I would compare two products. Like I've done, which one do you like most Nike or Adidas or something like that? Something simple. And I also do like, um, have you had a good day today? Yes or no. Just something to influence people to interact. And I noticed that people interact more with um, surveys because it's just one click and then usually they'll like it and that kind of boosts you up. And that's engagement. And you want to log into the app at least once a day. Or if you want, some people try to keep their um, streak going. They do like a however many day streak, however many days you log into the app in a row and then if you miss a day it'll just start over i probably made it to like day 21 <laughs> i forget sometimes so I, the highest i made was day 21 and some days i go like every other day logging in and it hasn't counted against me yet so i don't know if the streak actually matters but log in every day every other day or something close to it just to say you logged in or just open the app and like something and like i said you'll get a survey in your email you want to fill out the survey honestly and completely and then in a few weeks you'll get another uh email saying whether or not you get the vox box i usually don't get the email until after i've received my box <laughs> so you can't really go by that but you can go in your campaign and see like you'll have a new campaign pop up and it'll say the name of it. So that'll tell you like, hey, I'm getting something in the mail. They also have cash back campaigns. I've only done a cash back campaign once. And I have so many of those campaigns and I never do them. Like I said, I only, I've only done it once. And that was for the wine. And they do send it back via cash app. I think once the campaign ended, it took like two weeks maybe to get my money back via cash app. So you can do the cashback campaigns if you want to. I never do them. And so far, I have not gotten penalized for it. And I probably have like five or six cashback campaigns on my um, profile right now. 
I don't plan on doing any of them. <laughs> Just to let you know. Complete your Vox Box task. The more Vox Boxes they give you. Like if they keep sending you Vox Boxes and you never do the task, they'll probably stop sending you boxes. Just my opinion. I don't know. I still do it. So, and then I think that's all the tips that I have as far as to he what helped me get Vox Boxes. So now I'm going to open up. I got a Vox Box yesterday actually. So we're going to do a influencer Vox Box opening. What is it called? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> an unboxing. In so we're going to do an influencer Vox Box unboxing. That's better. So this is what the box looks like. Just for you. Influencer. They usually put it in the mail. If it doesn't fit in the mail, they'll just put it like right by the door. I hope I didn't show y'all my address. Don't be coming for me. So usually you'll get like something like this in there that tells you all of your activities that you have to complete. And then, oh, I have a coupon for free flips. And then it's just usually I have stuff like this in there. And then, oh, okay, I have the finesse. This one is the shampoo right here and I'm guessing this one is the conditioner I might try it and if I get hair products that I can't use I usually my son I have three boys and my sons have long like longer hair so I would try it on them so I can give them an honest review and I got some chapstick chapstick make them make sure them lips ain't dry and I have some clips stuffed peanut butter so usually when i have something like this i would try it with my kids so we can all get a joint like how we felt about it and i include that into my review because i try to make my review as long and as not as long but as detailed as possible as far as like the, the taste consistency um the amount that's in the bag just it doesn't have to be long just try to be as detailed as possible and that is all for this box. I have another box on the way, but I don't know what I don't know what's in it. So that's it for this video. I'll include my link below. So if you want to join Influencer, make sure you use my link. I don't know what I'll get, but it's worth a try. So happy box boxing. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you in the next video.